An incredible sight at Fall River's Durfee High School this morning after a pipe burst sending water rushing right out of this building. It's a story we first brought you on Eyewitness News this morning. And tonight we're learning more about what's next for the cleanup and where the school stands for thousands of students. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live in Fall River now with the developing details. We're live outside Durfee High School where we just learned that classes will be canceled for a second day tomorrow for the 2200 students who go here. Cleanup is still going on in the back of this building and we just got new photos in to show you what it looks like inside. A sea of water, 50,000 gallons of it gushing out the doors of Durfee High School hours before students and teachers woke up to news that classes would be canceled Wednesday. A standpipe burst on the fourth floor of the science wing, destroying expensive equipment, computers, classrooms, as water rushed down other floors in classrooms as well. This was not a catastrophic failure because of weather. Instead, Superintendent Matt Malone blames aging infrastructure in the 40-year-old building. This building, quite frankly, is the worst design high school in America. We need a new high school, and this is evident today in looking at not only what caused this to happen, but then to see the conditions of what our classrooms look like in general. The cost to students and teachers at least two days off from school today and now Thursday, using up all five built in snow days for the school year. The cost to taxpayers still too early to know, but City Council President Cliff Ponte expects it could tap into the city's rainy day fund. I don't think the school department has uh, the money sitting in their operating account to pay for it, so they're probably going to need to come to the city council for approval at that time. This as there's a proposal on the table for a new school to be built next door. And new at 6 tonight, find out what the city council decided just last night about the future of a new Durfee High School. Live in Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tony. Well, tonight, Fall River Superintendent says the recent cold snap was not completely responsible for the pipe break that flooded Durfee High School overnight. Highway to Snooze was there early this morning as water just poured out of the front door, forcing the school to cancel classes. Highway to Snooze reporter Kate Walsh talked to the superintendent. She joins us live from Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Kate? Well, we're live outside Durfee High School where there were no classes today, but we did see several teachers going in and out of the building, and we were told they were trying to rework some 150 classrooms in hopes that their efforts would mean they would have school tomorrow. But despite those efforts, the superintendent canceled school for yet another day due to the extent of the damage. Water burst through the doors of Durfee High School in Fall River, 50,000 gallons of it before crews could find the source, a standpipe on the fourth floor of the science wing. Everything that you, that you value in your life is now wet and damaged. That's what my classrooms look like right now. Our teachers are heartbroken. Our kids you know, are going to be hurt because of this. Superintendent Matt Malone blamed not cold weather, but aging infrastructure on damaging modern technology. The destruction cost students at least two days of learning and taxpayers in either repairs or a replacement. So first of all, city Council President Cliff Ponte yes, said just work. last night a city councilor halted plans to move forward with a current proposal for a new school. We we can't overburden our taxpayers in Fall River. Um, it's pr quite clear of that, but we need to make sure that we do it in a way, like I've mentioned, is, is efficient, uh, they're comfortable with, uh, and that our children can get a world-class education. Now, high schoolers didn't have class here at Durfee, but actually 290 Tansy Elementary School students were evacuated from their elementary school nearby to Durfee Auditorium here due to a smell of gas outside. That has since been handled. No concerns there. Tansy Elementary School students do have classes tomorrow. Durfee does not. Live in Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.